Hi everyone and welcome to another theatre vlog of mine. Today I'm in London just in front of the Apollo Victoria Theatre behind me, home to Wicked and I'm about to go in and see the new cast of Wicked 2022. Now Wicked is one of my most seen musicals in London. I've seen it so many times I've actually lost count and this theatre I visited again way too many times to even know the amount. Today is a Sunday afternoon so a matinee performance is actually going to be the final performance of the week for this new cast. They started on Tuesday the 1st of February and this is going to be their last show of their very first week in the show so I'm really looking forward to seeing them. I've heard really good things. We're going to be seeing Lucy Jones as Alphaba, Helen Wolf is returning as Glinda, we're going to have Ryan Reed in the role of Fierro as well and Sophie Louise Dan probably one of the most exciting things about the new cast for me anyway is going to be playing Madame Morrible so yeah of course I'm going to go through the whole cast at the end of the show and in the interval and share my thoughts but for now let's go into the theatre. It's currently about 2.15 p.m. The show starts at 2.30 and there does seem to be a little bit of a queue just to go inside. Here you go. I've joined the queue. It looks to be moving quite quickly though so that's a good sign. Okay I'm in the theatre as you can probably see by all the greenness behind me. Hopefully you can hear me as well. Obviously I am wearing a mask. I don't think masks are like necessary but I choose to wear my mask. I think most people actually from what I can see are wearing theirs as well. I'm not sure if it's a rule or not I wear my mask everywhere I go whatever I'm inside it really didn't take too long to come in by the way that queue that you saw probably took about three or four minutes they were checking our COVID passes which I'm very pleased about so yeah again I think this is something that might be different from venue to venue uh, but at the Apollo Victoria at least in February of 2022 you do need to have a health pass to be able to enter basically to show that you're fully vaccinated anyway we are sitting in the stalls for this performance of Wicked which is my preferred place to sit actually at the Apollo Victoria so let's head down we've got about 10 minutes until showtime just a quick note there are some understudies on today actually so Helen Wolf is off so I'm going to be seeing the understudy for Glinda which I'm excited about and then Ryan Reed is off as well as far as I could tell so a new Fierro as well the understudy Fierro so it's going to be interesting a few other understudies as well I'm going to show you the full list of the cast that we have later on but this is the inside of the auditorium let's go in now look at the Osdos boutique over here with some of the wicked merchandise they're selling we are going to have a look at that later on as well but for now it's time to go to our stalls I believe row E31 I deliberately booked an aisle seat just because I feel safer if possible I normally like to be on an aisle look how grand this auditorium is though it's been about five months since I was last here I think it was September 2021 that I was here and this is just awesome so beautiful to see this auditorium every single time I step into it that single seat over there looks to be my seat so let's go and sit in it I am in my seat really really good view actually I'm going to show you in a second the show should be starting in the next five minutes or so. There you go. This is my view from seat number E31 in the stalls on an aisle seat. I'm going to speak to you in the interval. It is the interval um, as you can probably tell. I've got loads of confetti with me as well. That's kind of what happens if you sit in the stalls. Not sure what I'm going to do with all this confetti by the way. It is really fun though to be in the first maybe six seven rows of the stalls because you're going to be you know enjoying the confetti over you. I found a place for the confetti. I've made myself a little necklace. Anyway I've just come outside the auditorium. It's just over over there just to have a little bit of space to talk a little bit about the show firstly Lucy Jones's alphabet is fantastic I absolutely love her I am going to talk a little bit more about her later on in the vlog but she is incredible you can tell that she's a big fan of the show herself because the love and passion she has in her performance excellent phenomenal voice I love her acting I'm so glad that she's in the show she's a great alphabet I'm also really enjoying whoever's playing Glinda today we do have an understudy for Glinda I am going to go and get her name later on in the foyer because they do have a little cast board but she's brilliant as well it's just so nice to see some fresh faces I feel like Wicked definitely needed a new cast and you can tell that the energy is there now with the new cast we do also have an understudy for the wizard so I'm going to get his name as well but he is also very very good and then understudy Fierro again I'm going to get all these names for you later on he's pretty good um, yeah overall I'm really enjoying the cast Sophie Louise Dan as uh, Madame Morrible is brilliant absolutely fantastic but before we go and have a look at the cast list let me show you some of the merchandise they've got going on here so looks to be the same usual that they've had for the past few years t-shirts hoodies that wicked hoodie is quite nice over there wicked london over here and then a tote bag and then if you want to actually scan to see exactly what they have here with prices you can do so here right i am heading back up now to have a look at the cast board and get everyone's names especially the understudies for this performance so here's the cast board over there looks like uh the performer for glinda today is somebody called Ch uh, charlie Baptai. Um, and then of course Alphaba Lucy Jones, Nessa Rose is played by Grace Chapman who is also fantastic, really enjoying her, there you go. This is the full list of
have the understudies we've got going on today. So Charlie Baptiste will be appearing in the role of Glinda instead of Helen Wolf. Grace Chapman is there instead of Karina. Reedy and Mark will be appearing in the role of Dr. Dillament. And then Michael Colburn, I believe, is Fiero. Yeah. There you go. I'm not sure how long these understudies have been understudying these roles. I don't know if they're new cast members or if they've been around for a while, but honestly, they're all doing a really, really good job. Like I said, I particularly like the, the girl playing Glinda. Charlie, I think she's fantastic. And then The Wizard of Oz as well. He's played by Riddy and Mark in this performance, and he's got an amazing voice and really good acting. I don't normally pay attention too much to The Wizard of Oz, you know. I don't think they're that important in the show. I mean, they are, don't get me wrong. They are for the story, but they're not my favorite character, but uh, Riddy is fantastic I'm really enjoying him I will have to come back at some point though to see Gary Wilmot in the role because I really enjoy him as a performer so I'm definitely going to be making a return to Wicked in the next few months because I really want to see Ryan Reed as Fierro as well I was really hoping that he'd be on today obviously he's not and his understudy is doing a brilliant job but I do want to come back to see the full main cast I've just noticed this thing Oz post box I think this is quite new I'd never knew it existed before but there's an actual poster box over here and it says fellow Ozians, if you'd like to write to the cast please Please post your messages here. I think that's an amazing idea. Wicked has a big fan base and so many people want to message the cast members, especially Alphaba and Glinda. So it's nice that they've let you do this in such an easy way. I remember when I was younger, much, much younger, when I was a teenager and I first saw the show, I really wanted to write to Kerry Ellis and Diane Pilkington. They were my two Alphaba and Glindas, my first ones. And I think I may have actually written to Diane Pilkington. It was when she left the show back in March of 2010, 2010. Wow, 12 years ago, I wrote to her a very, very cheesy message and I think I might have just like handed to her at the stage door or something but obviously now because of COVID and social distancing and things like that I think you can still go to the stage door if you wish to I haven't been to any stage door for years and years now but this is a much safer way and it like allows you to write a message and know for a fact that the cast members that you want to write to are going to get it I think it's brilliant anyway the show shoot starts in the next 10 minutes again the second act so I'm going to slowly but surely go back into the auditorium I did want to quickly say that in terms of safety and health measures they were an announcement at the beginning of the show just before the show started to ask every audience member to please keep their masks on now unfortunately despite the announcement I noticed loads of people around me with their masks down they didn't even have them down they just weren't even wearing them they didn't have them even in their vicinity which I think is a shame I'm like all about freedom of what you want to do and stuff but if you're in a theater and they actually are telling you to please wear a mask just listen to them like it's really not a big deal and it keeps everyone safe anyway they've just done the five minute call so I am gonna head back into the auditorium row E31 so we're going to go from the left hand side. I love this theatre so much and it's so well themed to Wicked obviously with the ceilings being green as well, the carpets on the floor, the chairs, the chairs are also very comfortable. I just love it. It's a huge theatre as well, one of the biggest in London's West End. Anyway, I'm going to go back into my seat now, two row E and I will speak to you at the end of the show.
the show has finished. I love this performance. I really, really did. This cast is amazing. I am obviously going to talk about it a bit more later on, but Lucy Jones as Elphaba is phenomenal. And uh, the Glinda as well that we had on, she was phenomenal as well. Really, really great pair together. I'm just so happy to have seen this performance. I feel very, very lucky to have been here. Orchestra sounded amazing as well, as you hopefully would have heard a little bit. Wow, what a show. Anyway, as you can see, the auditorium is slowly but surely getting empty. People are leaving the dress circle as well. Huge area. I do enjoy sitting there from time to time as well. You give a, get a good view of the stage, but generally speaking, the stalls is the place to be, in my opinion, for Wicked. Random fact for you, though, the very first time I saw Wicked in July of 2007, so nearly 15 years ago, I actually sat in the dress circle with my family. Anyway, here is one final look at the auditorium. Uh, like I said, not very many people left here. It's about 25 past 7 p.m. if you're wondering, and show started at 2.30. I am going to slowly but surely make my way up, though, and see if they might have a program, like a new program with the current cast, because if they do, I am definitely interested to buy one. Hi. Hello. Is a, is a program with a new cast? Yes. Oh, can I have one, please? Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, got the program. Apparently, it is with the new cast, which is brilliant. Can't wait to go through it. I'm obviously going to show it to you as well. Some of the photos, but... Oh, it's night time. It's dark now. 5.30 p.m. in England in February 2022. Of course, it's already dark. So I've just come outside of the front of the Apollo Victoria Wicked, and I thought I'd show you some of the posters that they've got going on in front of the theatre. Now, this isn't the Glinda that we had on today. This is Helen Wolfe, the lead Glinda who was off today. But here we've got a wonderful photo of Lucy Jones as Elphaba. Honestly, I can't speak highly enough of her as Elphaba, and I can't believe this is only her like eighth performance or something, her very first week in Wicked. She's going to become probably one of my favourite Elphabas. I feel like she already is in my top five favourite Elphabas of all time. And then here we've got the lead Dr. Dillamond who was also off today as well as the lead Fiero, Ryan Reed, who I would love to see at some point. Hopefully at some point in the next few months I'll come back. We've got Gary Wilmot here as the wonderful Wizard of Oz who again was off today but his understudy I thought was fantastic. And then of course Sophie Louise Dan is at the top over there. I love Sophie Louise Dan. She's phenomenal. Phenomenal performer. I've seen her in so many shows over the years and she is just incredible and she was amazing in Wicked as well. And of course here we've got our Buck who I've seen quite a few times now and he's amazing and then Karina up there as Nessa Rose but she was off again so we had an understudy Grace who I absolutely love. But yeah that is it. I really enjoyed this performance. I really think this cast is fantastic. As I said I am going to speak about them a bit more in detail when I get home but for now Wicked Apollo Victoria Theatre program here. I'll see you when I get home. So I am back home now and I thought I would share my thoughts a little bit more um, about the show this afternoon at Wicked, uh, 6th of February 2022. Before I get into the cast, I just want to talk a little bit about the measures that were there. So as I mentioned earlier in the vlog, they did check everyone's health passes, which I personally like. I mean, obviously it's still not completely safe, but it's just good to know that at least everyone around you has been fully vaccinated. There were also two announcements in the auditorium, one before the start of the first act and then also another one later on before the start of the second act to remind everybody to please wear your face masks and I just always find it funny when these announcements are made and people just don't listen I just don't understand how people can be like that there were so many people around me who weren't wearing face masks who weren't eating or drinking either so there was literally no reason for them to not be wearing face masks I understand there are some exceptions and you know if you for whatever reason can't wear one that's absolutely fine but I find it hard to believe that so many people were exceptions so that annoyed me a little bit but I would say maybe about half of the auditorium was wearing face masks at least the people on my right hand side were wearing them so shout out to them that made me feel a bit safer because immediate people right next to me were all wearing their face masks not the people behind me though so yeah what can you do for me it's just about respect like respect the rules of the place that you're in if you're going to theater and the theater is stating you need to wear masks just listen to it it's the least you can do anyway moving on from that let's talk about the cast wow so lucy jones as elphaba i am so surprised at how much i enjoyed her portrayal of elphaba as i mentioned earlier in the vlog again you can really tell that she loves the show and that she's been a fan of the show for a long time because her performance there's so much passion in it that her acting is so so flawless like i really believed her alpha but every single moment that she was on stage she was acting it so so well in the second act especially i mean there were times when i think she was crying from where i was you know sitting i could see some tears and beautiful stunning portrayal of alpha but and her voice of course is lovely as well i really enjoy her voice i think her voice actually the tone of it reminds me a little bit of nikki davis jones who is my favorite alpha of all time so i really enjoyed her singing she's got a phenomenal voice i cannot wait to see her again 
and again in this show. It's really fun to see her in a show like this. Lucy Jones is around the same age as me and I first saw her as many other people did as well on The X Factor back in 2009 I think that's when she was on it and since then I've seen her in a few different shows. I went to the X Factor concert of course back then I was a big fan of the X Factor. I also saw her in Les Miserables. She was playing the role of Cosette uh, with Samantha Barks and she's on so many other things throughout the years and to kind of see her in Wicked now it just feels really special actually and a little bit weird as well to have somebody who is my age play the role of Elphaba because when I first saw Wicked all those years back I was about 16 or 17 and the Elphabas and Glindas were maybe in their 30s so twice my age more or less and now look at me. I've never felt so old before in my life but joke aside I really loved uh, Lucy Jones in Wicked. I'm so happy that she's joined the cast and like I said hopefully I'll get to go and see her again in the future and she's definitely in my top five favourite Elphabas like already. She only started this week and already I can tell that she's going to be in my favourite Elphabas of all time. The last time a performer made their way into my top favourite Elphabas of all time so easily was Nikki Davis Jones back in 2010 when I first saw her so I was saying a lot you know everyone who plays Elphaba is obviously going to be amazing but as somebody who's seen the show so many times I've been lucky enough to have seen so many different phenomenal performers play the role of Elphaba over the years I want to say over like 20-25 different performers so of course I'm going to have my favourites and to me Lucy Jones is worthy of being in my top five favourite Elphabas. Charlie Baptiste I swear I'm not going to talk too much about every performer because otherwise this video is going to be long but Charlie Baptiste who was on um, as Glinda today she is the standby for Glinda at the moment and I believe she has played the role many times before I think she was on tour with uh, Wicked a while ago and she was also in the previous cast if I'm correct so not her first time or one of the first times by any means but it was my first time seeing her as Glinda and I really really enjoyed her portrayal I thought she showed the innocence of Glinda so so well especially in Act 1 I love the character of Glinda she's my favourite character in Wicked and I really care about the way she's portrayed as well I find it harder to find Glinda's that I like than Elphaba's I feel like Elphaba is generally speaking easier to portray it in a nice way whereas Glinda if you're not very careful with how you portray her she can become extremely annoying and unlikable and I felt like Charlie was none of those things she was likable from the start even though she is quite obnoxious the character she still managed to show Glinda's innocence and I really enjoyed that and she's got a beautiful voice and I thought she worked really well with Lucy Jones her for good uh, in Act 2 was beautiful both with her and Lucy Jones I really enjoyed her then I saw Grace Chapman in the role of Nessa Rose again I believe she has done the tour of Wicked so she's not fully new to the role of Nessa Rose I'm really glad I got to see her actually because the main Nessa is Karina and I've seen Karina so many times over the years she was in the very first Wicked tour in the UK so it was nice to see somebody new you know I'd love to see Karina again at some point as well but it was lovely to see a new face and Grace Chapman for me was new it was my first time seeing her as Nessa and I really enjoyed her portrayal again I thought she had a phenomenal voice and acting wise very very strong actress. We had Ridian Mark in the role of Dr. Dillamend. Don't really have much to say about him but he did a good job, he had a good voice acting wise he did well as well. Then we had Michael Colburn in the role of Fierro. Now for me that was my first time seeing him but I believe again he has been in the show so it wasn't his first time going on as Fierro. He's been understudying the role for a while. I thought he was really good. He had a good voice, um, a lot of the ways in which he delivered his lines I thought were very well done. Fierro's a difficult character again. I don't think he's very well developed in the show so it's another hard one. It takes a lot for me to really love a Fierro and I, I can't say Michael Corbin is a favourite Fierro of mine by any means but he's a good one. You know he's got a good voice, good actor. I definitely enjoyed his performance. Then Ridian Mark also played the role of uh, the Wizard of Oz today because Gary Wilmot was off and I loved him. I thought he was a fantastic wizard. I don't know what it was about him but he had so much energy. He had an amazing voice. He somehow made Wonderful, the song Wonderful in Act 2, a really fun and engaging performance. Normally I find myself kind of dozing off a bit uh, in Act 2. By that point I'm a bit tired as well. But Ridian Mark's performance as the wizard in Act 2 with Wonderful, amazing, really really good. And Lucy Jones as well of course as Elphaba. The way she reacted to the wizard I thought was fantastic. So there you go, those are the understudies as well as obviously Lucy Jones that I talked about. Sophie Louise Dan is the next person I want to quickly touch on. She plays the role of Madame Morrible. Now I first saw Sophie Louise Dan way back, I want to say about maybe 10, 11 years ago in a show called Lend Me a Tenor in the West End. I might even have a video review of Lend Me a Tenor somewhere on my channel because I've been doing YouTube videos for a long long time but every single show I've ever seen Sophie Louise Dan in I've always been amazed by her performance. I remember she was 
so incredible in Lend Me a Tenor, like a highlight. And I think I've also seen her in Ben Beckham, the musical, a few years ago. She's just an incredible performer. You can tell she's got an amazing voice and also great comic timing, fantastic actress. And she definitely makes an amazing Madame Marvel as well. I can't wait to see her progress in the role again. Obviously, it's only her first week, so it'll be nice to see how she develops the character throughout the next months. And then, of course, I have to give a big shout out to Nicholas McLean as well in the role of Bach. I had seen him before, but it was nice to see him again. He's a great Bach. I really enjoy his acting in particular. And yeah, that's basically it. I'm going to quickly show you the program now. I'm so glad that they actually have, you know, a new program already, even though it's only the first week. So when you open the program, you have this little slip for Charlie in the role of Linda because obviously she is standby. It's good that you get these as well. I remember back in the days I used to collect these for different performers. Uh, this is back in like 2010, 11, 12. But yeah, really, really enjoyed Charlie's Glinda. Glad I've got this clip as well. Of course, this is Helen Wolf as the main Glinda who I will get to see at some point, I'm sure. Ah, these are some lovely photos of Lucy Jones as uh, Elphaba over there. At Shiz, and then we've got Helen Wolf here as Glinda. Some photos and information about the creative team, of course. In the program, Stephen Schwartz, phenomenal, phenomenal composer. I would love to meet him one day just to tell him thank you for what you've done. There is a list of all the understudies and standbys for the show and all the songs in every act as well. And then here we've got a photo of Ryan Reed as Fierro. Then we've got Sophie Louis Dan, the wonderful Sophie Louis Dan as Madame Morrible. Here we've got the rest of the ensemble, some of them probably are new. I do want to quickly show you um, Michael Colburn, who played the role of Fierro. This is him. This was our Fierro of the day. Would have been nice if he got his own slip as well, but I'm glad I've got him in my programme. And then some more photos. I love this photo of Lucy as Elfie. She looks so happy, bless her. And then there you go, this nice poster of Defying Gravity, one of the most iconic moments in any show. We've got another photo of Helen Wolf here as Glinda. Let me know in the comments down below if you've seen Helen Wolf, by the way, because she's been in the show on and off for a while as well. Then we've got Dr. Dillamond and The Wizard of Oz, Gary Wilmot. Obviously, these are the leads. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get to see these people today, but I will go back. And the performers that I did see were all great. So we've got another beautiful shot of uh, Lucy Jones here in the role of Elphaba. I love it. Her costume as well in this act is fantastic. And yeah, that's more or less it. Here's another shot of some of the ensemble members in Wicked. And then we've got these few pictures here as well. As long as you're mine here with uh, Lucy Jones and Ryan Reed. And then that's Karina. And then we've got Bok here as well. And then some final photos of our lovely Elphaba and Linda over here. And I think that's it. Oh, the last photo, of course, is gonna be from the cat fight scene over here. <laughs> Love it. By the way, every scene just worked so well today. You know, speaking of the cat fight scene, I thought that was done so well. Charlie and Lucy Jones seem to have a great chemistry, considering Lucy Jones has only just joined the cast about a week ago. It was really lovely to see how well they bonded. And I don't know, like, I felt emotional throughout for good. I really, really did. And I don't really know what that means. I don't know if it's because Lucy Jones acted it so well and she was practically crying on stage, or if it was just because of the chemistry. I don't know. But it was a very, very strong for good. That's more or less it, though, before before I end this video though, I do want to quickly touch on a subject about the Apollo Victoria and its policy in regards to changing seats. So originally I had tickets for the very first performance of this cast on the 1st of February 2022. So this would have been about five, six days ago on Tuesday of this week, today's a Sunday. And I actually got COVID two weeks ago. And so even though technically I could have gone on the 1st of February because I was technically out of isolation, I'd tested negative at home with lateral flow tests and I'd already been at at home for about six seven days i didn't want to i personally didn't feel like it was the right thing to go on the first of february so i emailed wicked and i was like hey i got covid a while ago and i feel like i should be self-isolating is it possible to change my ticket to another performance and they were very very difficult about it like i feel like in this day and age this should be a given that you can just change your ticket i didn't even ask for a refund i literally just said can i change my ticket to another performance and i even told them i don't mind if it's to like a cheaper seat i just want to make sure i'm safe enough i don't want to give my virus to anybody and they were very difficult about it and eventually like I said with some emails back and forth well, I managed to make it work for this Sunday the 6th of February but ideally I would have liked to have gone next week just because I like to be as safe as possible again legally I'm absolutely fine now I'm allowed to go out you know I don't need to be self-isolating anymore but I would have preferred to stay in a few more days few extra days just to be safe again today was day 11 I want to say or day 12 since I tested positive for COVID so I'm definitely allowed to go out you know 
yeah, like I said, I have been testing negative as well on that little flow test for the past five, six days. It's just a preference thing for me. I would have liked to have stayed in for another week, but it wasn't possible. The Apollo Victoria team, Wicked, just wasn't helpful enough for me, so I had to go today. I'm glad I went. I feel fine. Like I said, everything's okay. It's just, I wanted to mention it because I feel like it's something that they need to work on. I feel like they should have made this process much easier for me, and, I, and they didn't, unfortunately. So there you go. Apollo Victoria, if you're watching this, your policy needs to change. Like, people's safety needs to come first before money, in my opinion. But that is it. Sorry about the negativity at the end. Uh, I had an amazing time this afternoon. I'm so happy that this cast is there now at Wicked. Wicked is like an old friend to me. I like to just check up on it from time to time to see if it's doing well and like I said today was my first time back in about six months and I'm happy to report that the cast is fantastic the show is just as good as ever and this is probably one of the best casts that they've had in a long long time so go and check out Wicked at the Apollo Victoria Theatre if you haven't seen it already as you can tell I love this show I've seen it over a hundred times I've genuinely lost count I don't even want to know because I feel like it's a very ridiculous amount of times but I love the show I've been seeing it since I was 17 and I will continue to go back to it from time to time like an old friend but thank you so much for watching I do have some more Wicked videos on my channel and other theatre vlogs as well so if you want to check those out feel free to subscribe to my channel I do post videos about theatre from time to time also make sure you're following me on Instagram if you want more content and I will see you in the next one bye bye